Greetings, folks. This Sunday, we have the parable of the ten virgins. And the word virgin today is a very awkward term. I mean, we hardly ever use it. <laughs> and for some people, it's a dirty word, okay? <laughs> um, so it's really hard for us to even know the import of, of what that is, you know, but this is the kingdom of God is like 10 virgins who are waiting for the bridegroom. It was a ritual in the ancient Jewish world that, um, that uh, there would be a waiting for the bridegroom come maybe at midnight or whatever. And, and so there, there are 10 of them. Okay. And, uh, the virgin is, obviously a, a very important and wonderful special thing in the ancient world um, it's a very important time of life but it, not only that but it um, the idea of chastity and, and chasteness is um, uh, is appropriate for all of us and we see the, this parable the the ten virgin we can see ourselves in it because we're all expected to be chaste souls, right? Now, there are 10 of them and five are considered to be wise, five are foolish. Now, it doesn't mean that the uh, the, the foolish ones were particularly evil uh, because they are called virgins, right? So to some degree they are chaste, but there's something about them that's not quite right. And we see that each one has uh, a lamp. If I wish I brought my lamp. I'd have it here in my hand. I got an ancient lamp I bought, I bought in um, Israel. It's a little thing like that. It's got oil in it and it had a wick and, it, and it, it, um, it lights up. And all of them had that. Um, uh, and that's the grace given to us in our baptism. You know, the oil is the Holy Spirit. The fire is our love. That's that burns with the Holy Spirit and gives light to everyone, everyone around us, okay? But five were wise, okay? And even wisdom itself is a, a rather antique word in our culture. What's the last time you, you ever heard the word wisdom um, spoken anywhere, right? Um, I, I'm not sure what that says about us, but well, I have my suspicions, right? <laughs> we become a very foolish culture where we really do not um, uh, get all excited about wisdom. In the wisdom reading today, um, uh, it picks up on wisdom being the lady, okay? Lady wisdom, okay? And uh, we see this also in Proverbs chapter 1 through 9 where you have lady wisdom and you have Lady of the Evening. And they both sort of work the streets. They both cry out to the simple. And who are the simple? Well, men. <laughs> okay. In other words, we're going to be seduced by one of them, either the Lady of the Evening or Wisdom and her charms, right? So, um, the wise virgin motif is very important uh, because what it really, it really is is that, you know, we all know sort of wise things and we even though we don't use the word wisdom much we, we kind of know what's right from our conscience and and, and by nature but um you know unless we fall in love with wisdom and as we would fall in love men fall in love with a woman it'll never be ours okay because you got to be head over your heels in love with wisdom and then when you love it, it becomes yours, okay? So uh, this idea of uh, lady versions, wisdom, all comes together in our cult, uh, context. And when the, um, uh, the time seemed to go on and on, the, uh, the, 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 they, fall, they fell asleep, you know? And that's never a good thing, right? But... Um, the five um, wise ones were smart because they brought oil with them. And having oil is just investing in wisdom, investing in God. 
and you invest by turning your affections and and turning your whole interior being in love for God. Love is fire, you know, it's fire. And so they um, they light the uh, their 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 can their um, um, lamps. Okay, and of course the lamp itself is a is a uh, metaphor for the soul because we are lamps, right? That shine in darkness. The five um, uh, foolish versions, they realized that while they were sleeping, they ran out of oil because they were not making that investment. They were um, asleep and were sort of away. They weren't prepared. Um, acedia is a word for for um, losing your your hope in things eternal and um, uh, turning to temporal things and what happens they never make it into the marriage into the event the big event that the whole history is waiting for um, is when Christ comes and there's the marriage supper of the Lamb. That is the event. Everything in us should be focused there. That is wisdom. That is having that virgin soul, that chaste soul that's necessary to meet our bridegroom. See you on Sunday. God bless.